we go over to Kevin and Olivia, who are ready to give you your Spartan fix and then some. That's right. Thanks, Morgan. Now, if you want to whack people with gravity hammers, then keep playing Halo 3. That's <laughs> fine. If you want something a little more strategic, then Halo Wars is the answer. That's right. The new installment in the series takes place at the beginning of the conflict we've come to know and features a whole new style of play. Get ready for an exclusive hands-on demo. What do you do after completing one of the most successful video game trilogies of all time? You turn back the clock for an earlier look at the Halo universe. Ensemble Studios Halo Wars is the prequel to Combat Evolved, where the first battles with the Covenant take place. The epic real-time strategy game features new units and vehicles, cooperative gameplay, and Xbox Live Online multiplayer. All right, everybody, Dave Pottinger, lead designer for Ensemble Studios, is here. Bye, and bringing us Halo Wars, everyone is so excited about this. But I want to get into the storyline uh, for Halo Wars, and I want to know where does it fall and where does it um, come up in the Halo universe? So the cool thing that we got to do is actually the best part of all superhero stories is the you know how they got to be superheroes. Mm -hmm. So we get to wind the clock back. I and love it's, a, it. it's a prequel. Baby Master Chief. Uh, well, not <laughs> quite that. No. Uh, okay. we, 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 do, we do get to give you something good there. Uh, we're 20 years before the events of Halo 1, and the cool thing is we get to give you awesome. multiple Spartans. It's nice. back when the Spartans were a true force, right. a, bigger, a bigger army, and Master Chief, you know, he's cool and all that. He's not uh, right. doing some stuff in the other well, part of the Well, managing just one unit on the field and trying to charge a base would be a little interesting, yeah, too. Well, I think you need more than one for an RTS. Yes, exactly. Uh, why, why go the RTS route, exactly? I mean, everybody knows Halo as, you know, the, the, the first-person shooter, even though it originally was supposed to be this RTS. Why take it there? Um, I think... From a, from a studio passion, Ensemble Studios, you know, we've done RTS games forever, and we wanted to bring that gameplay to the console. Mm. Halo was a perfect match for that, for that endeavor. You know, we love Halo, we're, we're super huge fans, and bringing that and, and marrying that with our gameplay has just been excellent. You know, real-time strategies have had a hard time translating over to consoles, so how does the control scheme work in Halo Wars? Yeah, what are we seeing here, Dave? Because yeah, I'm seeing through. some very synchronized Warthog uh, driving here. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, one of our senior designers, Justin Rouse, is driving the Warthogs around. Um, the controls were completely rethought for the three and, and the gameplay too. Uh, selection, we, given that we've got large armies and whatnot, mm -hmm. selection is huge. So we spend a lot of uh, time streamlining that. You select with A, you command or do your primary attack with X. And we have these really cool special abilities like running over guys with a warthog or yes. pucking grenades at people. Mm -hmm. you, know, you do those with Y. Um, Justin will probably train a Spartan here pretty soon. And Spartans have the best special ability in the game. They can jack enemy vehicles. <laughs> yeah, so we'll show that off here in a little bit as we train that. You can see that the base is there, as, as, which is the center of operations on the planet for the UNSC. Now, so like that group select there, you know, yes. real quickly, there's obviously there was no click and drag or press and drag right. of the button. So how do you exactly. how do you go between single unit, multiple right. unit, so it's entire really, screen select? It's real simple. You, you move it across here over a single unit. You press mm -hmm. A, you get that one. You press down on A, and you get a paintbrush. And anything that unit touches or that paintbrush touches will be selected. Okay. Then we have a couple of really handy buttons. Uh, the left bumper and right bumper do all army and local army on the screen. Do you, do you do you believe this will finally silence all the naysayers who say you can't have an RTS game I think, I think with, so. a, with a console controller? I think so. And to, to do that. You know, we, it's not a port. Right. Um, we built it from the ground up for the 360. It's customized for that. We've streamlined the gameplay and boiled it down really to the essentials of RTS. Now, uh, one of the essentials of any real-time strategy game, of course, resource management. Uh, yeah. What, what, so are what we... do you do in Halo? Yeah. What resources? Well, so it's, it's an ensemble game. Yeah, you know, we've done all the Age of Empires games. So the balance between guns and butter, economy and military, is always an important thing. We, we always we... choose butter, by the way. Well, who doesn't? <laughs> <love> Delicious. <laughs> and bacon. Yes. Uh, so oh, the... turkey bacon's the best. <laughs> so the the resources are streamlined down. There's one resource in the game, but that continual investment in economy is there throughout the game. Mm. And but the, the big focus is on combat. It's Halo. People want to blow stuff up. Exactly. Yeah, you know, we want to show off big, large army, epic combat, and that's really where you want to spend your time. Now I want to ask about the campaign. Will the Covenant be playable in single single player mode? Not in the campaign, but we did just announce okay. that Covenant are playable in the game in skirmish mode. So you'll be able to get your evil side on as you play. Very nice. <laughs> Very cool. And what about the, the UNSC Marines and, and the Covenant? Are they, are they the only two factions that we'll be seeing in the game? Uh, that is, those are the only two playable ones. Justin's jacking a couple of race here. That's pretty cool to watch. Oh, um, nice. So we do have uh, those playable. You know, the campaign follows the story of this ensemble crew of uh, the Spirit of Fire as they battle the evil Covenant. And then in skirmish mode, you can play UNSC or Covenant. Now, what are these units we're seeing on the screen right now? So Justin's driving a couple of uh, big, nasty scorpions. We've got some Marines there. Mm -hmm. 
You see, we've uh, got the wraith that we jacked, has the Spartan head over it, so there's a Spartan inside of it. And now we've engaged in this huge big battle, and Justin right. will probably call on the Spirit of Fire to help us out here. And that Spartan there, helmet and he above the did. unit, the Spartan helmet above the unit, that signifies that, hey, this is now a vehicle under your control. Yeah, uh, Color has, scheme changes that, to... That has a Spartan in it. I mean, Spartans are great combat units, but mm -hmm. they drastically buff the abilities of all the vehicles that they're in. Now, how much freedom do you guys have as the developers when it comes to developing new unit types and new vehicles? I mean, are you beholden there's to... New, the, there's a lot of new ones, right? Right. I mean, what, we need to sit down and look at the game. You'd expect from the first-person shooter side, the Covenant would be really well fleshed out, mm -hmm. and they are. They're actually code pretty easy. The UNSC, as it happens, was the harder one to do. Right. Bungie's been great. Uh, we work with them closely, but it, it is our game. You know, we are fleshing out the units that we need. We've added a, a couple melee units to the game to really give it that RTS vibe. Now, I'm right to say that a lot of these locations look pretty familiar from the previous Halos? Uh, yeah, yeah, certainly you know, Halo is a pretty vibrant FPS, right? Yeah. And we wanted to capture that. It's actually one of the things that Ensemble Studios games are known for, too. So, you know, Bruce Shelley has a saying, the sun always shines in Age of Empires and in Halo Wars, too. Very nice. Well, what about the characters? I mean, so it looks like uh, similar locations. And do you have all the returning characters? Did you add any more? Well, we're, we're, remember, we're a prequel, so we don't have too many of oh. the uh, existing characters people know. Right. But Do you know, we have the man cannons, at least? I mean, I know that was sort of a Halo 3 kind of thing, <laughs> but is it, am I going to be shooting any of my units across the screen? Uh, not with an actual man cannon. Okay. But they can get shot across the screen. 20 years nice. ago, they didn't have that. I'm sorry. I just thought, you know, maybe there's a beta prototype man well, cannon lying not. around the Stop base or something. It. All right. So, uh, fine, uh, I mean, it's, it's Halo. And I think the, right. the, the story that Graham Devine, who's our lead writer, wrote, it's going to make every Halo fan really, really happy. You know what? That's such a great line. It's Halo. Like, people love it no matter what. Right. Relax. Halo. Relax. It's, it's Halo. still Halo. It's going to be yeah. great. Um, you mentioned skirmish mode, you know, playable uh, covenant. Uh -huh. We've talked about single player. What about some co op? Yeah, so uh, the campaign is playable in co op which is pretty cool. That's incredible. Um, it's been designed with that in mind. And then obviously skirmish play, you can team up with a buddy locally or over live. Now, how, how is the co-op going to work? Are we sharing resources as a single team, or is it two different entities both playing together? To uh, it depends. You, you can play actually true co-op where you do share things, mm -hmm. but you can play just on the same team as well. Um, and yeah. have different economies and whatnot. That's great. Now, when can fans start uh, sleeping outside their local Best Buys and GameStop? Yes. Well, this. they can do that tomorrow, but it'll be a long <laughs> wait. Um, probably spring next year. Nice. Spring of next year. Very exciting. Very cool. Uh, a fantastic game. Thank you guys for showing it off. Yes. Well, thank you. Really, it's an honor to have it here playable. And I can't wait to get my hands on it and see how the control works. Well, we can't wait to give it to you. All right. Thanks again thanks for coming so on. Thank you. Really Very appreciate exciting. it. Thank you. All right, guys. It's now time to see what the masses think about this new take on the series. Adam and Morgan. Please take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks, guys. Now, despite the fact that you hardcore fans may be stuck at home for E3, that doesn't mean we have forgotten about you. Oh, today we're seeing what our viewers think about Halo Wars and more. It's the virtual audience powered by Stick Cam. All right, joining us first tonight is Brent from Florida. What is on your mind, Brent? Yeah, most Halo fans are fans of first person shooters. But how easily will Halo Wars make the transition to the RTS genre? I actually really like this because I'm a big fan of real-time strategy games, and it's always been hard to get, you know, fans of first-person shooters to recognize that they're a really vital and interesting and strategic type of game. So I hope it gets a lot of first-person shooter fans to at least check out an RTS. Try it. You might like it. I, I, I think there's definitely a, a good chance with that because there's enough of it that's recognizable from Halo, so right. you're not trying to learn everything all over again. And wow! Did that control scheme look like it's yeah. going to work on a console? So I think all the pieces are there. So guess what? Try yourself a strategy game. All right, next, let's talk to Joseph from Gladborough. Go ahead, Joseph. Um, Microsoft shocked us all when they announced Final Fantasy 13 for the 360. Is there any chance we'll see Halo Wars on the, for the PlayStation 3? I, yeah. No. <laughs> Halo is a franchise that's incredibly associated with Microsoft. Yes. It just wouldn't even make any sense. I don't think that my brain would comprehend such a crossover. Right, and it's also it was, it's published by Microsoft. Right. Which, I mean, and you have to think, remember, Final Fantasy is published by an independent third party, which is Square Enix. They have a little bit more latitude about how to make those decisions. Um, if that ever were to happen, my I, brain would scramble. I, I was in bizarre world, and I'd be get all scared. <laughs> it's bizarre out there. <laughs> all right. Finally, we have Mike from Texas. What's your question, Mike? Well, Halo Wars looks great, but what about the other Halo game that was supposed to be announced? Was that just a rumor? Okay, we actually have no announcements at this very second yeah. about what's going on. Which means it's a rumor. Which means it is a rumor. We have no new information for you. We have no new rumors yeah. that, that people haven't heard already. Um, but, you know, there is that special thing. People love countdown clocks, don't they? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> you know, of course, people like seeding things out there to get the, you know, get the minds going. But. Right, so there is a, a countdown clock on Bungie.net. It ends Wednesday night, so we'll be able to tell you everything at that point. Yeah. All right, virtual audience, thank you so much for coming by. We'll be checking in with you guys throughout the week. Now let's go back to Kevin and Olivia.